Welcome, guys and ghouls, to Mr. Tony of the Dead's YouTube channel. We hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And find me, your dark succubusty of the internet, on Twitter. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here and I have another movie review for everybody out there and this one's going to be on Mall Rats. This is from Arrow Video USA and it's directed by Kevin Smith. Mall Rats is a story of T.S. and Brody who both have recently been dumped by their girlfriends so now they go to the local mall and they are there and they find out that T.S.'s ex-girlfriend is now the star of this dating show that is being run by her father. So now they spend the whole day at the mall trying to win their girlfriends back with the help of their friends Jay and Silent Bob. movie came out in 1995 and it really um, holds up nowadays. It, it definitely holds up nowadays. Uh, watching this brought me right back to you know when I first saw it. Um, this is, the re there's a couple versions on here. Um, disc 1 is the theatrical cut, which is the one I watched, and disc 2 it has the extended cut and TV cuts. And the TV cuts are, you know, always funny to watch because when they curse in them, they always put like the most ridiculous things that you know they would never say, or like, uh, you know, you know, just like outrageous things and that make no sense. And, you know, that's on here too. I did watch this a long time ago on a TV and they showed a little bit in the like interviews about what they, you know, the TV cuts and that. Extended cut, I don't know if I ever saw it before or not. I don't think it did. I was actually blown away by how nice this does look. And, you know, the, uh, of course, the captions are, are done very well. And not only that, this has a lot of stuff inside here, you know, extra stuff, not just the special features, but there's some things inside that, you know, are really for the mall rats, you know, Kevin Smith fan in, in, in you. Uh, you know, and I'll get to that, you know, in a little bit. But, um, yeah, going back to, you know, watching this, uh, this is the first time I watched this in a few years. Um, but I've always been a big fan of Mall Rats. I love it. Uh, even after all the years I haven't watched it, you know, I sat down and I was saying, you know, every word, you know, to certain parts. Sometimes the dialogue, uh, it's a little uh, too smart for me. Uh, just like in Clerks, it's like very intelligent dialogue. And it's just awesome how it was written and then the monologues and everything. And the dialogue in this, in Mall Rats, is, is still very intelligent and you know long winded and everything you know in a good way now the dialogue in clerks is you know very intelligent very you know i'm kind of a dumb person so it's it's like sometimes hard to understand or not understand but know what they're talking about and this one this movie does the same thing except probably not as bad as the first one i feel as dumb after watching this i guess you could say but it's just smart dialogue and the monologues in this are great uh and the whole scene the whole movie is except for the very beginning when you see them at brody and ts at uh well ts was at his girlfriend's house brody was at home except for that the whole movie is done inside the mall, and the mall is in Minnesota. Unfortunately, I thought it was in Jersey because, you know, a lot of things are, are done in Jersey, and that's where uh, Kevin Smith was born, you know, in uh, Highlands, New Jersey, I think it is. Um, you know, so I thought this was in New Jersey, but it wasn't. But it's still, fantastic, beautiful-looking mall. I have no idea if it's still around or not nowadays. But I would love to go visit it. It looks awesome. And you also got a lot of familiar faces in here. Even though this was Kevin Smith's second movie. Now throughout the years. And this is the 25th anniversary. 25 years later a lot of these people in the movie. You've seen in multiple movies of Kevin Smith. And uh, you know. Uh, like Just like for one of course being Jay and Silent Bob. You know Silent Bob being Kevin Smith. And uh, Jay being Jason Mewes. You know the fantastic they even have their own movies Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Jay and Silent Bob Reboot um, you know fantastic movies I, I love pretty much everything Kevin Smith does my least favorite one is probably Red State but I think I'd have to give that one a chance like another chance but um, you know I, I love everything everything that he does uh, I've been a fan of his probably since 1993 um, and that's when Clerks came out and my friend 
uh, he I'm still friends with today, had clerks on VHS, and I said we got to watch this. And the first thing I thought is why is this whole movie in black and white, you know? And then I come to realize well. You know, they're asking for a pack of cigarettes and they don't say a brand, you know, that's another reason, a way to cover up and save money on, you know, the things in the shop. And now, Mall Rats uh, is in 95 and I saw it then and I loved, I've been a fan of Mall Rats ever since I first saw it back in 95, I saw it when it first came out, but I did not see it in the theaters. I never saw Clerks in the theaters, I never saw Mall Rats in the theaters. Um, off the top of my head, I, I think I saw Jay and Silent Bob Strike back in the theater, but I don't think I saw um, anything else in the theater, to be honest. Um, it either just like usually wasn't around here uh, where I live, so I always instantly bought the movie or you know rented it and, and just watched his movie because I am a big Kevin Smith fan. Um, just, I think everything he does is amazing. And I haven't seen everything, like movie-wise, yeah, but I haven't seen, like, stand-up. Uh, I've been to the, uh, you know, um, the comic book men's store. I've been to uh, Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. I've been there. It's a fantastic store. I've interviewed the comic book men, but I still never have gotten to meet Kevin Smith. I never got to meet him or Jason Mewes. I would love to because watching the interviews on here um, alone are fantastic. The interview on here with Jay, uh, with, uh, Kevin Smith is fantastic. Very, very likable guy. Uh, you know, it's very interesting what he says. Like you could just, I could just sit with him and let him talk and just love it. You know, just hear his stories. And then Jason Mewes has an interview in here as well. And uh, his isn't as long of an interview as Kevin Smith's, but it's about him going on the set. You know, with having a go with mall rats he said he would actually do that again like if they wanted to make him redo it or something he would do it because it was like one of the things that he loved doing the most out of all kevin's movies and the funny thing is what like listening to kevin smith talking about this and that it's funny how the process of hiring people for this was because this went more you know more hollywood you know um clerks was all him and his friends and that and then this one he wanted his friends in it, and the company was saying, like, well, you know, maybe we shouldn't have, you know, Jay in this, because he's like, well, he's, you know, Jay and Silent Bob, and he's like, well, yeah, but he's not an actor, and, you know, it's just your stoner friend, you know, we have other people in mind, and Jason Mewes actually went up uh, against two other people for his part to play Jay, who, and the other people were Seth Green and Brick and Meyer, and they're the guys that created Robot Chicken. And I don't see anybody else playing the part of Jay, you know, at all. Uh, I, I can't see anybody else playing those two, Jay, Jay's part, and I can't see anybody else playing Silent Bob. Um, it's just, it's their part, and that's it. it only them. Uh, you also have in here, you got Shannon Daugherty, um, who was from 90210. She was just off of 90210, and, she, you know, it was, you know, great to see her in this, like, uh, I was sort of a fan of 90210 back in the day, and they even make a little jab at her in this. Uh, the, the one guy, Ethan uh, Slippery, is trying to look at the magic eye, and that's the one thing in this movie, magic eye. If anybody remembers those back in the day, they were like popular. Uh, they were awesome, to be honest, but he couldn't see this sailboat that everybody was seeing, it, and, and people were walking up and going, oh, a sailboat. And he looked there, and he goes, Brenda? She goes, dick, you know, which is a nice little jab at you know 90210 which i you know i think is hilarious um and then joey lauren adams is in this and she's been in a lot of them probably most memorable for chasing amy which is another fantastic um kevin smith movie one of my favorites um and then ben affleck is in this as well uh you know you got uh jeremy london in this and then probably everybody's most likable character probably this is jason lee uh he played brody and brody's actually played um, off of, you know, Walt Flanagan, uh, it's a, he's basically, uh, supposed to be like Walt Flanagan is in real life, that's how Kevin wrote him, he, like, he is Walt Flanagan, he, he carries around this little paper cup and has soda in it, and he, like, has it in all day, and, uh, he said that's how, Kevin Smith said that's how Walt was when he, uh, was with him, they went somewhere, and it was like a 12-hour trip, and he had this little thing 
little cup, plastic cup of soda, and till the end of the trip, he had still had soda in it. He he let he was able to make that thing last all day. <laughs> a little Dick Dixie cup. Uh, pretty pretty awesome things that you know behind the scenes that you don't know about this. Like the like I said, the whole hiring process and the interviews and and uh, callbacks and stuff like that. And then they had to do a pizza party, which everybody hates. You know, which is like they all come in. There's like the final three people for each part and each one of them have to do other parts as well with different people even ones that like are going for your part and you know they hire and they they get the pizza and everything and then he said that like, everybody hates that and Kevin didn't know about that at the time but he's that you know that's what happens but um, talking about Stan Lee's part Stan Lee is in this uh, there's just a lot of great moments in watching this and some moments like I almost forgot about and it was just so great to see this again um, so from such a fantastic director and you know he's just amazing Kevin Smith is amazing Jason Mewes everybody on this in this did a fantastic part um, you know and, and also Michael Rooker is in this is fantastic and if anybody ever offers you a chocolate covered pretzel don't take it <laughs> uh, which is another thing that you'll you know if you've seen the movie you'll know what I'm talking about and it's just a great movie and one other person in this and I don't know his name but I believe he was like a bodybuilder and everything he was also the security guard in the running man who let Arnold go like at the end um, he's like because it's the steroids and then he went away and now in this he's a security guard as LaFleur's and I thought, oh, that's, that's cool. I forgot he was in this, so it's cool to see that. But fantastic movie, fantastic addition. Lots of lots of stuff on here. And a lot of goodies inside, which I'm going to show you right now. First, you have this slip cover here with new artwork from Robert Samelin, which is fantastic. It's like a, done in a comic book kind of way. You pull that off, and the same thing is under there. And then you reverse it to the back, and like I said, there's a lot of stuff on here. Limited edition contents, disc one and disc two. Look at all that stuff in there. Interviews and and you know Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff on here. Very very excellent edition. And you open it up, and here you have that artwork on here. And then you reverse this, and you got the original artwork there, which. It's kind of like a comic book. You can see it. It's like a comic book in a way. You know, uh, that's basically what the old, old artwork looked at like. And uh, you know, just you know, awesome. I love both of these. I love this, and I love the original. Either one works with this. I I, I just love them both. And then the font, it's like the same font. That one's red, and that one is green. And here you have one Blu-ray. That's a theatrical cut. And then you, have, you go over here, and there is disc two with the extended cut and the TV cut. You also have the booklet with a magic eye on it. And there's the magic eye. If you want to pause it and see if you could see what that says, you can. Um, I could see what it says, but for some reason it's backwards, but they do pop out. And then, you know, you come in here, you got the cast and crew, you know interviews and stuff like that about the restoration and then there's the back one two three now if you've seen the movie you know what this is from this is the blueprints on their plans to destroy the stage and here's the first part of it where he's gonna run and hit him with the sock full of quarters and then they're gonna you know party on the stage that's all broken and then here's the other plant they had on the back of this where he wants to fly across and pull the pin out and destroy the stage and then they all party at the end I really like this poster I kinda wish it was like two of them you know because you have to it's reversible I guess you know like other ones it's reversible but like this is two different images it depends on what you want to put on there but it is very cool that they have this in here gotta be honest this is probably one of my favorite editions if not my favorite edition that arrow put out and there is this option to play in the beginning with uh...
Kevin Smith introduction or without it. I highly suggest you play it with it. It's a long intro, but it's very cool. He's very, very humble to Arrow Video putting this out and getting it to be talked about one more time. And he loves Arrow Video, and he said that's not just, you know, you know, like that. It was very funny how he said it. Even Jason Mew said about how he's, you know, thankful Arrow put this out. Um, fantastic job Arrow did on this, I gotta say. I loved it. I love the movie, and it made me, you know, go back and think about my youth for a while there, you know, um, and the malls and that. It's, it's a shame that malls are disappearing, and um, maybe this will spark some interest in people and be like, you know what, I missed that too. Maybe we should try our best to keep the malls open and going. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you, Kevin Smith, for making this movie and everybody who was involved in it. You know, I this was part of my childhood, and... I love this edition, and I watch. This will be rewatchable for the next 25 years plus, and that's all I'm gonna say. Love it, recommend it. It's fantastic, and that's it. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in purchasing this, I'll put a link below for that as well. I'll also put a link below for the trailer, but like I say, proceed with caution. The trailer may contain spoilers. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Snooch.